everyone and welcome back. Made it up to the farmhouse yesterday afternoon. Today now we're getting some rain. We got over an inch of rain in one hour this morning so that's helping out with the drought some. There wasn't much to do outside this morning. Right now it's 11 o'clock, 11.08. And I, we were going to wash the bedding and stuff tomorrow, so I got that into the wash. And now I'm going to drive down and pick up Melissa, and we're going to go out and do a Chinese buffet for lunch. It is really blowing out. <laughs> I just got back from having lunch with Melissa. Still a blah day, 59 degrees. Well, it's a little bit after seven o'clock. All I did was stuff inside the house today because it would rain and stop and, and uh, tomorrow's supposed to be rainy too. I don't know if it's gonna be in the afternoon or not, but they're saying over an inch possible. So, but I wanna pull this metal off so that tomorrow, if it's raining, I can go ahead and drill this and make both of these new pieces for the mower. Because I know summer's getting towards the end here and I probably will only have to mow the field maybe once, maybe two times more. And I'd like to have this done for that. We'll come out here and play around with this tomorrow. I want to run out right now and collect all the SD cards and pull the pictures off of them and get them put back out there before it gets dark.
got some amazing pictures this week on the trail cameras. That one camera that's way down there, the far camera I call it, that one there, you saw the all of the bucks and there was three of them all together. I put the two pictures together, um, you know, back to back so you could see that. And then the, there, there was a total of five bucks, a spike. There was the one that we saw uh, last week in the last video. And then there was these three new ones and that one, he's, he's going to be a big boy. His uh, antlers are still growing and he's, I wonder if it's that same one we saw last year. Let me get all these SD cards put back in. Starting to sprinkle a little bit right now and it's getting dark. A lot of people will ask me what kind of trail cameras I have and how I like them. And I have two up at the tent that are Bushnell. They are the best. I've had those a long time, but they're also the most expensive. And then I've got some of these cheapy ones like this one. And what I hate about this camera, it takes good pictures. They're pretty good. This is the one that at night sometimes it's black and white. Uh, or it seems more black and white than usual. But it has a, one of the micro SD cards and it's almost impossible to get that in unless you're really careful and not drop it on the ground. It, it just, it absolutely drives me crazy. All my other ones have the regular size SD cards in them. So this could be a halfway decent camera. See if it tells what kind it is. It doesn't. But anyway, I can't stand the fact that it's got that little SD card. And, it, and even if they were to put it in a place where it would be easy to get at, but they don't. This camera right here, I don't even know if it's really focusing because it's getting dark. This is one of my wildlife innovations cameras. I've got the one here, I've got one at the tent, and that's the one that faces out on the dock. Uh, you know, out on the lake. And these are good and they're pretty reasonable price, so I've had pretty good luck with these. And they have a regular size SD card. It goes in backwards, I always forget that. And they're much easier to work with. are getting shorter fast. It's not even 8 o'clock yet. That means it won't be long and there'll be snow. This one here, I don't know if this is another wildlife or wild, yeah, wildlife innovations. Let's see if this SD card goes in backwards or forwards. I bet it is uh, the same thing. This one takes pretty decent pictures too. And it's got the same easy setup. I don't know if it is though. I can't be sure. And then this thing broke off so that kind of sucks but it still clicks up there. Last night I got to see my solar light was on on the post. It works pretty good. Doesn't look bright right there, but when it's dark out, it's pretty bright. Good morning, everybody. It's about a quarter after seven. You can see that it's real foggy out. I don't smell any smoke, so I think most of that's fog and it's a real, uh, mo a lot of moisture in the air, so it's kind of misting out a little bit. Everything out here is just wet and there's a lot of rain supposedly coming this afternoon, so Melissa and I are hoping to can some beans because they are ready to go, so I thought I'd get out here early and pick some so that uh, 
don't have to do it in the rain. I picked this one whole side right here. I still have that other side over there. I already have an overflowing five gallon bucket of beans. Still have all these bean plants, but these were planted later, so there's still it's gonna be a lot of beans this year. And I've got beans that are planted down there too, a few plants. But this should be enough to get us started. I'll maybe come out in a little bit and pick some more, I'm not sure. I need to go up to the store. We're gonna barbecue up some steaks today. And Melissa said that Aldi had some, I think it was bison ribeyes or something. And then I wanted to get regular ribeyes so we could try them side by side. That's pretty good. You know, yesterday we got almost an inch and a quarter of rain and it was still bone dry on the bottom. It's just, we need so much rain up here. I got four potatoes just wrapped in foil and then the other ones I just cut up and put some butter and some seasoning in there. Uh. Melissa has green beans on the stove, some zucchini squash in the oven, and she's sitting in the living room snapping beans. I'm gonna give this maybe, I don't know, five more minutes or so, and then I'm gonna throw on the steaks. I think I'm going to be full after this. Okay. Normally after lunch I'll sit down for a half hour and just kind of relax. And we just looked at the radar and remember earlier it said there was going to be, I don't know, a little over an inch of rain here. Now it's saying a 90% chance of 3.17 inches of rain. <laughs> and it's coming pretty fast. So I thought I'll get a few more beans picked here. So we'll have something to do today. We can can beans while it's raining out because it's supposed to rain for quite a while, according to what they're saying. These over here are a different variety of bean. 
and there's still a lot of flowering going down going on down there so this one will still produce quite a few more beans Well, I didn't get to the end of the row, but I got another heaping five-gallon bucket. Well, that storm that they were talking about came through. <laughs> it only dropped 0.11 inches of rain. And now the sun came out. We weren't even supposed to see the sun today. They're still saying there's some more rain coming. A lot of the rain went north though um, up in the tent area and that's really good because of the forest fires in that whole northern part of Minnesota. I picked about probably a third of a five gallon bucket here and I would say by next weekend there'll be another five gallon bucket that would be ready to be picked. Last year, Melissa said she got five and a half five gallon buckets. Got some nice watermelon started. There's already more zucchini to be picked. There is going to be so many tomatoes. It's just, <laughs> look at how this one has went into the fence now. And I mean, it's on top of a hay bale, but it's taller than I am. The only thing that's weird this year, I have never had a problem growing eggplant. And those are eggplant right there. They all have flowers and I have no eggplant yet. I don't know if they're not getting pollinated or what the deal is this year, but every house I've lived in, every place I've had a garden, I can always grow eggplant. Last year we grew a bunch of eggplant here, and this year, something's up. Well, I was going to start canning, and uh... Then Melissa stopped me and said, no, she wants to do that part, so that's fine. <laughs> the last year we did all pint jars, this year we're going to do them all in quarts. She's still out there snapping beans. tell you that I need a new drill press. That one there, the, that's a brand new bit that I bought and it's not spinning it correctly. So, and it doesn't have enough power even to run that bit through this. That's not even, well, probably eighth inch steel. It's a little under eighth inch. It wouldn't even run it through without stopping and it wouldn't power through it.
doing it that way worked, but I hate doing it like that because you know when it goes through that metal, it's going to twist and about take your wrist with it. There. The other side will be easier. It's just a small bit. I would think that hand sanitizer would be a good cleaner. It's mainly alcohol. I'll let that dry. I don't know if I'll put them in tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm only here till 2 o'clock, so if I feel like if it's not raining in the morning I'll put it in, otherwise they'll be good and dry next time I come up here. And I can install those and the finished mower will be back in working order. The sky is looking kinda dark over there to the north. I can hear thunder out here, but no raindrops yet. Melissa filled up 29 quart jars of beans, but it's already 9.17, so she's not going to start tonight. So tomorrow she'll start canning them, and I imagine by tomorrow night, they'll be done. Good morning, everybody. We got just under an inch of rain overnight last night, so the last couple of days have really helped out with the drought. This morning now we're just following that Hurricane Ida. Right now that storm is the strongest that they've seen possibly since the 1850s. I might have said that yesterday. And it's showing the eye of the storm going, if you look at the map right now, just about two miles from the Louisiana house. So pretty much a bullseye. We'll have to wait and see what happens with that. I've got the last of my laundry in the washing machine right now, and this afternoon I'll head back to the work camper. We're going to do a breakfast for lunch, and I want to try to make hash browns, and white or russet potatoes work better for that, so I decided to dig one of these up and see how these are doing. Try to get out of the wind here a little bit. Quite a few potatoes, not the size of the reds, but this is an inside plant too, so we'll see when we dig them all up. And I'll probably do that next weekend.
a backpack. You need it right now? Uh, yeah. I just need to put this on here first. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Another work week starts. See you guys on the next video.